Good evening to all. We are continue with the EDA tool tutorial series part 8. In this we are going to see the prime time from the synopsis. The prime time generally used for the STA and the power analysis. File generations for the prime time. First is VCS. It is used for the simulation and it will create the VCD and the switching activity file based on the netlist. And then we have the design vision for the gate netlist generation SDC file and SPEF file, parameter extraction file and ICC is used to have the post synthesis netlist and SPEF file and SBPF file. As a prime time used for the timing analysis and the power report generation, the overview of the tools and the file extraction for this uh, prime time, we require the design vision to have the get netlist and the other reports along with the SDC file and parasitic file. For the VCD and the switching activity file, we need the simulation based on the VCS and it is based on the gate netlist, not the direct uh, Verilog file. Also ICC, ICC, we have to provide the gate netlist and related files along with the leaf files to have the generation of the gate netlist and SPEF and the SBPF file. Also these are the switching activity files. We can use one of the from these two. We prefer SPEF file. To have the timing report, we need a get netlist, SDS file, reference library for the link, target and symbol, SPEF file and the timing reports we get from this prime time. Also we can have the power report from the prime time but we have to add VCD and the switching activity file for the same along with the other files. Flow for the tickle files we have to enable the power analysis, need to read the library, provide the design gate netlist and the constraints, parasitic extracted data for the timing analysis. Perform then we can have the timing analysis on basis of these details. For the power we have to provide the switching activity file, then parasitic data for the power analysis and we have two modes like uh, averaged and time based and then we can generate the timing and power related reports. So the files used in this tutorials, this is FSM test one as a main module, we are referring 90 nanometer technology, then get netlist based on the 90 nanometer, then SDC file based on the 90 nanometer, VCD file from the VCS which provide the test bench waveform details and the switching activity file and SBPF file and SPEF file. Actually the process to have this prime time to run, there are number of tools we required to generate the required files, ok. VCD switching activity, get net list, then SPEF, SBPF, on the basis of that it will create the timing and power report. So timing report has a uh, list of reports like uh, setup violation, hold violation, then clock related, clock getting related. There are numerous timing reports we can have from this prime time. Also power related reports are numerous power reports we can have. So we try our best to, to have these uh, report names and the timing reports. So in this short video it is little bit difficult to run all these tools. So still I try my best to have the at least uh, overview of the make files and tickle files for these tools so that you can overview what kind of tickle commands I use for generation of this kind of files. So we begin with the uh, terminal. We are already on the VCS uh, folder so we first uh, view the make file for the VCS. One command like VC VCD to a switching activity file and the our list of files is under the all files as we know and one flags I added for the switching activity file. So one simulation and convert switching activity file these two 
things I have added here for the switching activity. As a, you can get the switching activity from this, or if you have the VCD file, you can get from the this command. Okay. So rest of the thing is same as we seen on earlier VC, VCS uh, uh, tutorial. So what we need to check this file. What files list we have? So in this I refer the test bench file for the FSM test one. Then get net list from the ICC, and then one uh, virlog file for the technology. And then we can have the uh, files like switching activity file. Then then VCD files. Okay. So these two files are required for the further process going for the design vision details. So just overview the tickle file for the same. So in that we are reading the source file that is a FSM test one. We are placing some clock related constants making that top level is a test uh, FSM test one then we are providing the library details then at last we generating the required files that is our get net list file okay under the ICC and the SDC file these two files are required along with these reports regarding the timing power and cells but for the for the process of the prime time we are not required these things so also we generate one parasitic file that is SPEF file but we require the SDC file and the get net list and the SPEF file design vision tutorial these are the same tickle files that I'm using here okay so Moving to the ICC quickly review the ICC tickle files. So the tickle file is this one. So in that we also provide the library details. Okay, make the FSM test one as a top level. There are some Milkway library details. Then also C Max C Min details. We already know these things from the ICC tutorial. We add one or two files from the VCS that is switching activity file, and we also strip the path TB FSM test one because we are not going for the test bench uh, hierarchy. We are going for the under the that test bench there is a duck FSM test one. We are so we remove that part for the test bench and we are actually focus on the duct. So also VCD files we are doing the same thing. So this the rest of the thing is uh, uh, common from the our earlier tutorial for the ICC. We'll, at the last we, we generate the files that we required SPEF file and SBPF file also the switching activity file. These files are required for the further process on the prime time for the power extraction. Okay, so we are moving quickly to the PT. So in that we just need the tickle file for the same. So we are referring the PT to tickle file presentation. These are the steps that are listed on that tickle script. So we just overview by scrolling it anomaly power analysis then library setup then then make the result a pt folder then make the top level name then read the netlist file okay so we are reading the sdc file parasitic file then up we are updating the timing we are providing the constant for the clocks input delay output delay then we are generating the timing report such as a delay type max means for the like it is for the setup whole timing report for the maximum path of one one we can have the edit these things for the uh, 
more than one path then clock related summary then timing volitions and then timing report for full path delay type then clock getting check regarding skew also then transition time and related to net so these are the related uh, reports but in this way we can have that report after that timing report we can go with the power analysis with the reading of the vcd file again we strip the path test bench because it is under the test bench uh, uh, file as a duct then we are reading the switching activity file also the reading the parasitic details after giving the all these uh, details we have to just the provide the mode of analysis either average or time based once we are giving this this these things we have to provide the and whatever the report it will generate it is for the average and it will save in the average power so once we can use this uh, update power it will automatically reset all these things so we have to give the all uh, details uh, again for the creation of the switching activity uh, based power okay so we have to again read the vcd file switching activity parasitic then again we have to provide the update command update to a power command and then on from that we get the power based on the time timing uh, related or switching related so these are some power related reports so we quickly run this so to run that we have just uh, command then tickle file name to that's it so once we get this terminal you can have the type the commands and it will give the whatever the possible reports you can get from this okay so it will show regarding the power related okay any time just just we can have the uh, let's say okay these are the details likewise you can have the other reports uh let's say power and also we can have the details of that like cell power or like that okay in this way we can have the report generation but what are the required uh, reports we already listed in tickle files so it is better to have in one go rather than the going through this command prompt commands okay for the debug purpose you can use that but once it is final you can put it in the our uh, tickle file so we can exit from this and go to the we can check this report one by one the average power okay then power report okay then time based time based power report okay in timing report this is for setup for one path slacks hold clock summary violation area details wns max so later we see actual sta in a separate series okay so just uh, for how we can provide the files to this pt uh, what kind of result report we can get from this pt it just for the overview for that as a eda tool exploration we are we will see uh, sta in separate series and please subscribe my channel hit like button thank you